CICU devise us. CICU challenges. Frequency, ECG and LVAD. 71-year-old man with hypertension and dyslipidemia and a history of chronic ischemic heart disease characterized by a chronic anterior myocardial infarction, severe left ventricular dysfunction with an ejection fraction of 20%, and carrier of an implantable cardiac defibrillator with cardiac resynchronization therapy. The previous year, a left ventricular assist device was implanted due to advanced heart failure. The patient was admitted to the emergency department due to gastrointestinal bleeding. Upon admission, an electrocardiogram was performed. With the obtained recording, could we identify the LVAD model by analyzing the electrocardiogram? If we carefully read the recording, we can detect certain data that may guide us toward identifying the type of LVAD. First, we confirm that it is an ECG recorded at 25 mm per second with an amplitude of 10 mm per millivolt, a high pass filter of 0.56 Hz, and a low pass filter of 20 Hz. Regarding how to perform a good ECG recording in patients with an LVAD, we recommend watching the following video from our channel titled ECG and LVAD. You can access the video by clicking on the tab in the upper right corner of the screen. The link is also available in the video description. Continuing with the present case, if we closely analyze the ECG recording, we can observe subtle changes in the artifact generated by the LVAD. Increasing the zoom, those subtle oscillation changes become more evident. Specifically, we can detect repetitive cycles with a duration of two seconds. Within this cycle, we can identify an interval of approximately 160 milliseconds with lower oscillation frequency and amplitude, and another interval of approximately 200 milliseconds with higher oscillation frequency and amplitude. These cycles correspond to the artificial pulse generated by the HeartMate 3 system. Every two seconds, the system reduces the speed by 2,000 revolutions per minute for 150 milliseconds and then increases it by 2,000 revolutions per minute above the baseline for 200 milliseconds. These changes produce the artifacts described in the previous ECG, and the HeartMate 3 is the only LVAD nowadays that generates this artificial pulse. Therefore, if we detect this pattern in an ECG of a patient with an LVAD, we can determine that it is a HeartMate 3. If you've enjoyed our video, please press the like button and subscribe to support us so we can continue creating quality content like this.